How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. We're in the middle of a hurricane. So it's actually Wednesday, September 28th. It's 10.30 in the morning. Um, I'll probably jump to a lot of cell phone clips. It actually, the storm got a lot worse than we had anticipated. Hold on. Um, I did a little prep video and kind of showed you what we do, but we weren't anticipating it to be as bad as it is, but we were prepped for it, so we are good. Um, we were expecting around 40, 40, 50 mile an hour winds. Um, we had a solid six to seven hours of sustained 50 and it was gusting 70 to 80. So that was quite a surprise. Um, on this side of the island, we stayed bone dry. Um, we were great, we're on the north side. The canal drained. I'm probably gonna jump to a lot of cell phone footage. The canal completely drained, um, which was kind of eerie. And at the same time, it was drained the north or the south side of the island was completely underwater um, i have a lot of friends that their houses are in waist deep water um pretty heartbreaking to be honest with you but it's the nature of the beast but what's happening now is kind of where we're at the storm has passed us um our biggest concern now is surge we still we still have all our food and supplies and all that stuff water uh, we have fuel for the generator we actually didn't lose power we're one of the fortunate ones there was pretty much the majority of people are out of power but we we got lucky and we still have power so right now we're in surge mode so the tide is actually supposed to be dropping for two more hours and it's actually coming up so what's happening is hurricanes way over there it's pulling all that water behind it um and all night that wind was bashing water against the south side so now it's all draining and then once that storm passes it's going to come back and potentially fill in we just don't know how bad exactly but we're, we're prepped just in case um, I'll show you what we've got. Everything in the shed is up off the ground. Brought everything, you know, two and a half feet off the ground. Up in the Ginu, everything else is, everything else that is extremely valuable is off, obviously in the house. Um, got tools and freezers and whatnot. So that's where we're at. Um, we may take a quick cruise around town just to check on some people and um, see what, how everyone's kind of doing and whatnot. But, um, we're anticipating a surge, so we will keep you posted. So this is uh, kind of a historic Norfolk Island pine. There were two of them. The last one came down in Irma, so that's what knocked out the majority of the neighborhood's power. Yeah, you um, can see right there. We were fortunate enough that we were fortunate enough that it hit the pole one over from ours. So this whole side of the street still has power. Um, unfortunately, everyone else in the neighborhood is out. So. Dodge the bullet there. So I'll be completely honest with you, I was wrong. Um, but that's why we prepared for the worst. But I think it, it caught a lot of people off guard. What happened was that eye kept, the eye of the storm through the night kept creeping further and further east when it was supposed to be going north, which picked the winds up. And um, unfortunately, there were a lot of people that weren't ready. Just some of the damage and uh, keep in mind a lot of areas are fine a lot of a lot of people are fine but um, I think it caught a lot of people off guard so we're gonna cruise around and check a couple a couple more areas and see what we find so last night um, I actually came through here good lord look at all oh my. last night I actually came through here to check on a friend's boat that was out of town and um, he heard how bad the water was actually coming up so I came down here to check on him and all of this was completely underwater. It was about right two to three feet at least. Oh no. But it seems to be draining off of this side. We're gonna run down here and check out um, check out Hogfish the bar that I keep my boat at and whatnot. See how the fish house is doing. And yes, I am fully aware this is awful for my truck, but this is a work truck. <laughs> this thing is rusted until I'll get out underneath already. So yeah, so I pulled in here last night and there was physical waves breaking across this street. Again, I'll probably cut to some cell phone footage. I, my last thought was to have the GoPro with me. I was more concerned with checking on the boat or my friend's boat. You can see the water line, that's where it was. There's a dumpster right here. The 
the dumpster float. Oh, they floated. Holy crap. No, there was literally the dumpster was right here um, oh. in the hogfish parking lot. We'll hop out and check some of this stuff out. So you can see this is where the water came all the way up. The Yankee caps fared okay. Along with the the mini Yankee caps. Well, the dock box is here, floating docks here. <coughs> so you can see how this is normally you get dead grass that comes in here. This is all obviously alive. This is eel grass that got ripped up from the south side. Those big swells will rip all that up from the bottom and unfortunately it's just a part of part of nature. Not so bad. So this is what I was talking about when I was referring to the south side. We are on the south side of the island, um, which is which way the wind was coming from. So it was a lot worse here. It's like someone's already been doing some work this morning. Oh, this is so pretty. I had to be able to relax and just go home. Yeah. I turned around and came back two days. We got Bobby Mangelli, the owner of Hogfish Bar and Grill. They were on it. All this had de debris last night. <laughs> he said they had said they had about a six to eight inches of mud in here already. But they are on it. This is not his first rodeo. He's been down here for years doing this. They got the place cleaned up already. They already put notice on us. Hey, kayak. Let's go paddling. So that shell station roof completely leaned and the, the the supports gave way and it leaned and just kind of fell on top of the building. But we are um, we're gonna head home and make sure this this surge isn't coming back up. We want to be ready for it just in case anything changes you never know. I like to be safe. Alright so we are starting to rise here. Your average king tide, the water will come up to about right here. Um, so we're getting close to that. Now the only difference is, is it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be lowish tide right now, but it's coming in. So the storm is releasing all that surge that was kind of behind it and all of that. So we're gonna see. I um, definitely think we're gonna get some under the house. You can see it's starting to come over in the boat ramp a little bit. But again, this is this is no different than your average king tide. We'll keep you posted. As you can see, the surge is here. We've never had it come up to the slab. The highest king tide we've ever had is about right here, at the bottom of this step. And the bad news is, it is dead low tide right now. So, I don't know. Hurricanes kind of change the rules a little bit on certain things. So still could be a possibility that it comes up quick and goes out quick but I don't like the thought that it's going to be having to drain against a high tide or an incoming high tide so but like I said we are prepped we've got everything up at least three and a half feet off the ground the freezers are about two two and a half done everything we can do these are rocking 
bees are good for now. <laughs> they may need a lift here shortly. <laughs> so this is um, probably the worst part of the whole thing is the waiting. You don't know how high it's gonna get. You just kind of sit here and wait and try and see when it levels out. You can see the leaves still kind of pushing in that way. Let's me know the tide is still coming. Hopefully not much more. Dang. Mama Bear's got it good as new. So, I picked a landmark and watched it and it was those cleats. I know you can't see them, but there's cleats on the end of the pier. And it's been about an hour and those cleats completely disappeared and I'm starting to be able to see the cleats again. So it appears that our tide is going back out. Somebody down the canal left some diesel or something. It smells like diesel fuel, unfortunately. That kind of pisses me off, but what can you do? We're in a hurricane. It appears the tide is retreating. So this may be the end of Hurricane Ian for us. Oh yeah, you can see right here. It is running right out. Yep. It is evacuating the yard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really, really dodged a bullet here. Oh yeah, you can see the water line. Oh, I love it. Whew. We got lucky. So realistically, I mean, from our highest king tide, we got maybe another 15, 18 inches. And I will consider that lucky. Nothing major got wet. Um, we saved the mango tree. We recently planted a mango tree. And I was not about to lose a third mango tree, so we pulled that out. Where is it? It's over there on the top of the freezer. But um, that is all we th I think we've got. It seems like this is the end of it, guys. It is Wednesday evening at 3.30. So maybe I'll try to get this video out tonight. Um, we are getting to shirts. We actually ran out of shipping labels. So as soon as the water gets out of here and I can get to the store, I'll get some more shipping labels. I should have shirts in the mail by tomorrow or Friday. Um, I did not get to a Q and A, obviously the hurricane was worse than I thought it was going to be. I think that's understandable. But that is all we've got. We did hurricane Ian and we made it. Good work, babe. <laughs> Nailed it. We will see you guys on the next one. Still have a tuna taste test coming out probably tomorrow. Um, a lot of bonus videos. Anyways, I'm done talking. It's time to get to work and clean up. We've still got a lot to do. It's the end of the hurricane, but it is not the end of the work. We will see you guys on the next one.